Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining an original amount where a fraction of a fraction or a fraction of the remaining amount is involved. Now let's read this question. After I drank one seventh of my water and then drank a sixth of what was left, I had 30 millilitres remaining. How much water did I start with? Now there's two ways to do this. We could work backwards from the 30 millilitres and say that, well, if we drank a sixth of what's remaining, we'd had five sixths of the drink left. So five sixths of what you had left was 30 millilitres, then work out what the total amount was, and then work backwards again to say, well, if we drank a seventh of the drink, then have six sevenths left. So six sevenths is that remaining amount and work backwards again. But I'm gonna do it all in one go. I'm gonna just think what fraction we have remaining at each point. So let's think, if we drank a seventh of the drink, what fraction do we have remaining? Well, we'd have six sevenths left. So we have six sevenths of our drink left. And then if we drank a sixth of that remaining amount, what fraction are we leaving remaining? Well, we're leaving five sixths of the six sevenths of the drink left. So we're drinking some drink to leave six sevenths left, because we drank a seventh of it, and then we're leaving five sixths of that six sevenths. It's focusing on what we have remaining each time. Now remember, when we have the word of, we can times these together. So we just need to times these fractions together, and that will tell us overall what fraction we have of the drink left. Well, five times six is 30, six times seven is 42. We just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then we can simplify that. So we could divide these both by six, so that gives you five over seven. So we have five sevenths of the drink left. By the way, I could have cross cancelled here because look, can you see the six and the six? They cross cancel, leaving five sevenths. We know we have five sevenths left. So there's five sevenths overall of the drink remaining. Now we can do what we usually do when we have reverse fractions of amount. We're saying that 30 millilitres that we had left overall is five sevenths of the drink. So five sevenths of the drink is equal to 30 millilitres. And then we work our way backwards to get to all of the drink. Well, if 5 sevenths is 30 millilitres, well, we first work via 1 seventh of the drink. And to work out 1 seventh of the drink, well, to get from 5 sevenths to 1 seventh, we're dividing by 5. So if we do that. 30 divided by 5 is 6, so 6 millilitres is 1 seventh of the drink. And if we've got a seventh of the drink, when we want to work out all of the drink, we have to times by 7. So all of the drink, so a whole of the drink, well, we times this by 7. 6 times 7 is 42, and that's therefore the answer. So all of the drink is 42 millilitres.